Who's your boy Tester Ape on your apostle's favorite DJ? I'm chilling with Mr. Media X. What it do? So now I'm telling you guys, we decided to it. It's time we break down uh, our top 10 hottest and dopest album covers of 2019. And with that said, I'm Tasha Edwin, the Apostle's favorite DJ, art director, and known to media by uh, a design pastor. Here we go. I'm Mr. Midi X. I'm a new media artist. I'm the co host of a finance for hippie podcast. Finance for hippie. Exactly. And I've got my own little startup design studio situation going on. So, you know, I'm a big hip hop fan. So, with us being big hip hop fans, we decided like, how we are looking at every single uh, album which we are creating in our top 10. First thing we're looking at is the concept, the big idea when it comes to the album. Uh, the title and the sequence of the images, does it blend together? Does it make sense to the audience who will seeing the title without seeing the picture? And then when we see the picture, does it live up to the title? Exactly. Number two is the visual of the image, you know? so. How visually beautiful and how iconic, how memorable is just the image that you are looking at. Number three is execution. Now with execution is most ideas fall when it comes to execution. You come up with a great idea, people love it, and then when they see the visuals, it doesn't live up to the promise, which was the big idea again, the execution. And number four, which is most important to me, is the disruptive factor. Mm -hmm. Does this disrupt culture? Is this like something that exists in a way which would basically break through the norm with how the visual looks, you know? Is this a moment in time that we'll remember? Does it disrupt your thinking? Do you see this image and you're like, yo! So in here we've got our list of all the artists picked by media and I. I picked five of my top uh, 10 media picked his. Pick five, top five. And then together what's gonna be happening based on the grading system, we're gonna be picking a name, and then each name we're gonna read it and then we're gonna say, I believe this one should be at number 10, or we're just gonna disagree with me, and then based on an anonymous decision, we're yeah. gonna agree we on the list and then make sense. So yeah. we just need to do the honors with us. So I'm going with the first pick, alright? Sure. <sighs> Steve Park, <laughs> musician Steve Park, cover Mkoko Ken, photographer designer Keto Mix. I'm laughing because this one is medium. It's my selection. Yeah. It's my selection. Do you need me to, to, to give you some reasons as to why this is here? I can tell you which way the next do you put it. Okay, alright, cool. So, this for me goes at number. 10 actually. It hits all the dots in terms of the elements that we look at, um, that we're looking at. Uh, conceptually, I thought it connects to the type of music that these new guys are doing, um, these hip hop are doing. Ketu Meso is like, Ketu is just like phenomenal. So he's doing this thing on Instagram. I believe he's got this whole gritty aesthetic that he's got going on, but it's connecting to like the electro, you know, sound that these guys are, are putting out on the music. So this one is by NF. Uh, he's a musician. Cover is called The Search. The design and uh, photography goes to John Taylor Sweet. Yeah. I almost said Taylor Swift. Nah, 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 nah. Yo, NF, yo, bruh. So, where would I put NF in the list? I'll put NF at number five, bruh. That's my choice as well. Yeah. Uh, so, so, I'm here on everything here. Yeah. You would put him at number five? Yes. Uh, For me, it reminded me of a lot of stuff I've seen. I don't know if you've seen the album cover, the guy from Ghana. Yeah. Uh, Which uh, album cover? Something first. Okay. So he had an album cover where he was also like had a trolley and his cover was like uh, I'm shopping for Jesus. Okay. So with end up being a Christian rapper and when I saw that I was like, here's someone who's considered the art of world of actually having your faith as being a Christian rapper. Yeah. Has he come out and called himself? <laughs> I'm gonna have this debate right now. The debate is gonna pop up somewhere, but but um, so just on on the visual. So you're saying that what? So you speak, you've spoken a lot to the concept. He's been a guy who's been uh, this guy went to his album called Soul Chance, the rapper. 
Yeah. You know? And so when, when it comes to the visuals and what he represents yeah. and the concept, the search, him being dude, you find people at shops searching for the stuff they're looking for. Yeah. So it could be easily shot at a a supermarket store. But he took it outside. Is it disruptive though? I think it's disruptive, bro. That visual. It's disruptive. You have never seen a visual <laughs> like the one in it just put. Yeah, the one that he put. He, he, in he that put context. The photographer. Who's the photographer again? It's John. It's John Ted. John Ted is sweet. So, because yeah. just having looked at even his work, yes. it, it, I think they've got a good working relationship with each other. So they look like they've done a lot of their projects together. Yes. But he's, he, you know, he shoots a lot of mountains outside. Um, from it, it was, it's a dope aesthetic. Um, I'm not sure if it's a disruptive aesthetic. Exactly. Um, but also, I, media, do you remember when you and I did the research to actually look at yeah. this guy? So his niche could be that whole um, scenery, yeah. mountain film. Yeah. But when they came together, it became a collaboration. Okay. So NF also brought his idea, yeah. ideas into this idea. Okay. Look, I'm not, I'll be honest, I'm not mad at number five. I'm not mad at number five. Um, you, can, you can keep it there, number five. Where are you gonna put him higher or not? Um, he's, he's more of a six to me. Um, he's more of a six. But let's see, let's see, I think, let's see as the other projects show up, okay. um, how everything is gonna land up. Okay, cool, so it's my turn to show up. Alright. Add Bobby, number six. Sorry, number. This is the third pick. <sighs> Taylor Gray and Christian Gray. I'm meeting this right, right? Sure. sure. Musician sure. Sure. Taylor Gray and Christian Gray. Sure. Cover Jacob and Judas. Yes. Photographer Anonymous. Uh, yeah. All right. Cool. That's fine. We're gonna Sorry, for Anonymous. Anonymous. Okay. Show me the cover. Am I allowed to place it? Dear God. Okay. Um. <laughs> Discover. Yeah. Um, where do I, where would I want to place this? Um, six. <laughs> uh, Judas and Jacob. Um, this is six, right? I'll, I'll put that, that's strong, man. I'll put that at four. I'll put that at four. <laughs> why? Oh, why? I'll put that at four. Why? Four. Why? Um, so I like this. Um, this is the first time I've seen this image. Um, Jacob with Judas. Um, so from the aesthetic, I would this is the, I, I would remember this thing. It, it, it cuts through a lot of noise. It, it speaks to a lot of design. You know, the, right now it's, it's very easy because there's so many things happening within design trends to to just put in a lot of stuff sure. and to 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 try and over say something. Um, simplicity. The simplicity here yeah, is phenomenal. Like this guy from my side, he's going to heaven and he's hanging himself, bro. Like, so you can tell me a bit more about the oh. color. The color palette is dope. I like the color palette, it's, um, the way that it's worked. And this is just a really strong vision. If I saw this, like, I'm going to remember this. I don't know. When I remember it in two years. Maybe but not. I put it at four, I'm not sure when it will. I think for me it's to like uh, being great on the Christian faith and the Christian hip hop scene. So when I yeah. saw this, uh, it's, it's Judas and uh, it's Jacob. So we know Judas is the guy who hangs himself. Yeah. So I had this, you know, in the wrong. And then Jacob being the other side. <laughs> I don't think it I don't think it should. I don't think it should go high. Yeah. Alright, cool. Next. This one is a fourth one. Chester Rapper, musician, cover, Big Day, uh, photographer is Sarah, and the other guy is Anderson. Okay. So the collaboration between the two, one's the artist and the other one's the photographer. Okay. Chester Rapper for me, dog, he comes in at number eight. Um, I would, I would really like you to justify why this is even on the list. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, like, um, uh, his first three bodies like I would like we were making a list of the top 10 album sure. covers sure. Uh, within hip hop um, of 2019 why is this in the top 10 
Like, I, I don't know why I don't know. You don't agree? I, I don't Ever. know. I, I, you put it in an I would like, like, if, like I okay. would like, let's that push that out of, of why, 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 why all the blind city of diamonds. So, for me, when, when I looked at this image, there's a few things I, I considered. One, if you look at the directions of where we're going, people hard to sell hard copy from CD cover. Okay. Here is giving you a blank canvas. Okay. Which represents a CD. It's giving you a blank canvas that represents a CD. A CD okay. Which right. is the canvas of the CD. And it's not going to be holding it like this. Okay. So you could literally tell your story into this blank canvas. Okay. And bring it through as your own interpretation. Okay. So the big day for me is also just playing on the surprise element. Mm -hmm. When people are celebrating something, there's a lot of confetti. Like if you can you can tell that we are about to celebrate. But it's just yeah. going for a blank CD, and then in the background you have hints of America, and then it's just holding the cover there. Yeah. So for me, when I looked at the image, I was like, it's a powerful image. Okay. Is it powerful to sell the album? I'm not sure, but is it powerful to in, to interpret interpret the idea of the big day? Yes, sir. Okay. So I can ask you, as an art director, if you had that on your catalog, do you think like you are going around shipping like your work, shipping like what you can do as an art director and as like you know as a visual scientist of sorts? Sure. And you that popped on your agency, um, the kid pop it to you in this portfolio even and it said this is what I'm doing. Media. I think also what, what, what you're missing, the guy in the background is holding the ring. The guy holding this. Holding the disc. Yeah, I have you noticed those, those small nuances of what this thing is saying to you. The big thing. I so maybe this this for itself was the music he played on the big day of the okay. That's how I'm Okay. I'm in. Okay, 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 okay. So you you are saying that this is the number eight, right? So you 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 are speaking a lot on, on, on the concept, okay? Yeah. Um, Execution. Visually, I'm I'm not. I don't think this is like an image that I like lose sleep about. <laughs> I don't think I don't think this is an image I'll, I'll I'll lose sleep about. I don't think like so. Let us come to a consensus. Are we having it there or are we not having it there? No, no, it has to be there because it's, it's in our top 10. Sure, we'll love the top 10. I so I think we do put it about 10. I think it's still step up. up and go down. This, this is the last one. one. Okay, this is the last one. Yeah. Top. Oh my god, we've already done fine. Um, this is okay. the last one for today. Uh, yeah. Also, guys, hit us up. Let us know what you guys feel about our, our list, whether you feel you agree or disagree with us. Oh, nice. <laughs> to end off the list, musician, Rez Prof. Ah. Cover, <laughs> the pictures I did in ah. Instagram. The, the pictures, of, wait, wait, wait. Please repeat the title. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Musician, Rez Prof. Cover, the pictures I did in Instagram. Boom. Photographer. Boom. Boza Nostra Creator. So Boom. That's, is that a collective or yeah. a single guy? It's a single guy it's actually on his page. Okay, it's okay, okay. Boza Nostra Creator. Yeah. Um, shout out to Res Prof. Res Prof! Um, by the way, just to you know some extra info, I'm actually editing, I'm actually annotating, working with it on annotating this actual um, Which, album. Like annotating the music writers are you know. So basically mm -hmm. like my say in my line on the album, I am writing them down. Okay. Okay, so that it can be cataloged online. So before I have anything to say, you gotta know that this album <laughs> musically <laughs> I mess with this. I I I I'm like I've literally given my time um, to just like help this album exist more. Rest prof the pictures I did in Instagram as cover Dope art. Title, bro. Dope title. Is Dope it title. Me? Where does it place though? So after the, the well, let me see where I can try to place it. Um, again, um, I would put it at nine. No, we said stiff up is at nine. Right? We're more than at liberty to join. Nah, for me, this needs to go off, bro. This is your selection. I'm not going to put it at night. It needs to go higher. It needs to come lower. Um, okay, it so. can't go in a high. My motivation is that it goes at night. This is your choice. This is sure. your choice. Yeah. Shout out to Rez, but explain to me. Talk to me why. Dude, pictures I never Instagram. 
Okay. Already the title suggests for me when I looked at okay, Instagram as an institution represents something. Okay. So when you choose to post a picture, yes, it's also copyright. Wait, so wait, 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 it's yeah. a home run. Okay. Visual, visuals and aesthetics. Dude, I agree. For me, he, he could have been lower than what I'm suggesting. When you're saying lower, are you saying, remember, lower is like 10, closer to 10, right? Okay. Higher is okay. closer okay. to 10. When I say lower, I mean down, you're 6. Okay, so you're confusing okay. people, but at least we, we are so, that. Okay. Okay, when you say higher, you mean? Closer to 1. Higher. Okay, cool. I would have put him, I would have placed him higher. Okay. Higher as in at number five. Okay. Okay. Um, and based based off of okay, so enjoying the copy, you enjoying the, the so, so okay, the cover as well, it's like an one of those old photo albums. Yeah. You have shack. Sure. So and I think this also has to do with my own personal conviction. Okay. Or is it that I just there are certain images, no matter how much I like them, yeah. if I were to post them, people yeah. wouldn't react yeah. the same way. Yeah. So this is a person who holds his work dear. Yeah. Or I don't feel this is should go out there for public consumption. Okay. To even have a comment on it. To even yeah. have a like on it. Okay. So it goes beyond <laughs> than just hey, if I do this. No, I am gonna fight for this. Yeah. Conceptually, it's an idea I've always had in mind. With the certain pictures, I don't believe should make it on Instagram. Okay, cool. And with him saying that, he feels like the certain music that's not made for specific people. Okay. And he's, he's, he's so, yeah, so he's talking to a specific audience. Here. Okay. With an ideology of I don't care, this is what I like, and therefore to me, I, I keep the end. Okay. And then, All right, cool. Um, I okay, I get that. In terms of up to. Is it, is it, that's what I'm. You tell me. I don't, I don't think it's the most disruptive cover art. I think the title it is. is is I'll get I'll give you the title. It's disruptive. Uh, so I think what you're trying to say. I'll if, give you the. If, if, if this was. Uh, if I'm putting on an exhibition, would I be like you know? If I'm looking at this as a, you know, for me the golden thread of concept is like how how can it also live like collectively everywhere within like the digital sphere? You know, can I? put this to live as like an image um, that is powerful that kind of says certain things like like the for example the jacob and judas yeah dude like i can i can put that in my room as just like it can live just like as an artwork and it's, it's got such memorableness to it um this um my my, my issue with, with, with this is that the, the music is again fortunately enough was one of the projects that i've got to listen to so the music is legendary i don't know if the golden thread connects to like um the if the cover art kind of connects on all elements you know if you're saying like the pictures i get in instagram i get, I get your arguments i have to be honest i get it i didn't look at it like that but if you say the pictures i did in instagram i would have i would have loved so much more of that narrator to play on how he, how it visually came out, but how the project lived online as well. You know, how, am I seeing this in like a video that talks about it's a, um, it's a, the it's album a, artwork? You know, it was a um, which is important when we discuss the album. Because again, how this is also done better. What? No, no. I think you know. My thing is this is almost it's it's, it's very much like. And an F you to Instagram, kind of thing. That's how I feel about yeah. that. That's, that's how I feel like it's very much like an, an, F, an F you to Instagram. So I'm, I'm constantly thinking to myself, you know, when, when I sit back and I'm in, in five years' time and I think, okay, cool, which kind of visual spoke to what was happening um, within, within, within the culture? Is this a visual that's gonna make me sit back and be like, okay, cool, that was, you know, that that's that's like a strong statement in the world of like design 
and 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 uh, you know an album cover. But Tom Paul's gonna forgive me. I, I felt like when he when he put the title, he he got a bit lazy. There, I think that's the one. So maybe that's it. I I I'll agree. He, he, what what is flawless? Yeah, yeah. Is, I can. I love the fact that this yeah. thing where you can almost he, he feel it. Like, I, I love the fact that you can almost feel it. He did well in that. So at uh, that typography, it's given like, the fact that it is a copy, it yeah, is like so yeah, strong with yeah. this. Yeah. So I think it's not very important. Obviously, I'm sure you did like you're going to know. That's why you didn't even consider the time. I, time phase. I agree. That's probably my issue. Yeah. That is probably my issue. I think. Yo, boss, shout out, you know, shout out, and like, like, you got, you got what I'm saying. This is number five, and we're talking about this because we, the body of the work, we respect it. It's in, I, it still makes my, my, my top ten, as per se. The typography for me, I don't yeah, know, yeah. is not Could have been deserving yes. of, of, of that like, the work is there together, yeah. but like, if you, you already go hard, like, you already go hard visually, you can feel it, the aesthetic, but then it's almost like you just slapped down the typography. So let's recap, man. Top five or oh, top bottom. Yeah, top we've, got, five, we've got top ten, right yeah. down to five. Yeah. So at ten, we've got uh, Chance the Rapper, The Big Day. By Come on, to one. By Sarah and uh, Anderson. And then okay. at number nine, we've got Steve Papa. Yeah, oh. For much um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I did it, like I'm, I'm, I'm going to the okay too. Um, and yeah, but the music I've gotten into it, I know they're doing the thing of mixing hip hop and drum and what you know, and and, and then that sound they've got a very I hear kind of okay, my little cool kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. But but oh, I, I'm not sure. No, let me it's the purpose of the space in Cape Town. Okay, cool. Yeah. Like aesthetically, what they did here for me was like okay, so right now, you know, 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 you um, yeah, I just the reason it's even at nine is like I just know that it's got to know of how we can push visuals still going. So. At number six, we have NF with the search, uh, the designer or photographer that was John Taylor Sweet. Yeah, and the reason why we keep saying shout outs to the designers and photographers, and it's also an art form that hasn't gotten the shine when it comes to the music part, mm -hmm. you know. So it's guys who also put in the work and the always fallen behind the artist so mm. that's uh, NF the search and then at number five number five finally made it yeah. <laughs> race prof uh, with the pictures I did in Instagram shout out to Boza and then not a Boza from a squad you know mm. it's Boza spells with the H don't be don't be a strip yeah that's and true. then we've got with Jacob and Taylor uh, by the Gray brothers coming in at number four Tyler Gray and Christian Gray and the artist there is unknown. Five down. Five down. So thank you for tuning in. It's your boy Tasha Edwarda. It's Mr. Media X. We'll be back giving you the final countdown to the top ten. I think that's one I so many without. There's there's lots of spots that are left here. Um, but yeah, it's gonna get real. Shout out to all the designers, the artists, the visual artists, the people putting out the the um, these beautiful pieces of work can um, yeah, but like you know, yeah. Peace in the Middle East, see you on the streets. Away.